Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I'm going to show you in this video how to use one of the Santa Claus updates to get absolutely broken stats on some of your dinos. A lot of people didn't realize this was a thing because it's kind of uh, unexpected if you want to think of it this way. But anyways, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for that algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. So if you haven't seen it yet, the fireplace update basically allows you to craft a dino, weapon, armor, or saddle. However, you always want to craft a dino. Now, why would you want to craft a dino, right? It's actually a pretty simple reason. Even though they only pop out at level 50 to 60 to 70 sometimes, what actually happens is every single point that they get for their statistics go into one category. So you can actually get insanely overpowered creatures. I'm going to go ahead and spawn in some Rexes so I can actually kill all these things. Uh, there we go. Um, but anyways, just so you can see me actually getting this. But basically what can happen is you can get just absolutely broken stats on these things. Because all of those points go into one statistic, if you get lucky and get a... Uh, Carcadonosaurus or a Giganotosaurus or a Rex or anything along those lines, right? You can get some statistics like 50 points in the health, 60 points in the health or melee or any of those things. And it's absolutely insane the amount of uh, benefit that it has. And a lot of people aren't using it because they're like, oh, it's only a level 40 dino, but people weren't actually looking at the statistics of the dino. And the dino statistics are a bonkers. Now I'll go ahead and show you in a second as soon as I hit super nice, which I should have just hit. I did. Let's go ahead and drop all my stuff I just picked up. All right, so we've just hit super nice, right? So I'm going to go ahead and set the time of day to 2359. Let's go ahead and that time of day. Spelt it wrong. I'm an idiot. Set time of day, 2359. Go ahead and hit enter lay down in your bed and then if you didn't know this already santa claus at approximately 05 is going to drop you a um what's it called cryopod inside of your christmas tree as long as you're nearby it um i don't know if technically you have to be laying down but i've always laid down so i haven't really even risked it so there goes the cryopod right so you can see that i've got an ichthyornis now the ichthyornis is a water tame so this is a terrible one but i'll show you real quick um, so it is level 55, right? Which means that 54 points are going to be straight into one individual category. So we got unlucky, obviously. I'll show you another one in a second here, but go ahead and toss it out. Really? Thank you. Uh, is it because I don't have a cryo fridge nearby? Ugh, gross. I guess we'll get another one then real quick, and I'll just uh, show you how to do it one more time. Um, so in, anyways, if you haven't learned the whole process, I'll do it one more time because the ichthy owners, I'm not going to sit there and wait five minutes and torture you guys with that. Uh, let's go ahead and go set time of day. Go ahead and get another Raptor Claws Dino. Let's go ahead and drop here. Get the uh, Tartar. Come on, drop. Seriously, game? Thank you. I was like, how is that not a thing? Um, yeah, so basically we're just going to kill the Rexes again. This is the fastest way to do it. Technically speaking, you can kill anything, though. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter. As long as it's an aggressive tame and it's going to go after you naturally. Um, the only way to go down, by the way, that I know of is to kill baby dinos. I'm sure there are other ways, but that's the only one that I found that works quickly. Um, alphas seem to give you the most on the Raptor Claws scale, but you can technically get anything across the board. And what you're aiming for is super nice. See how I hit super nice on the bottom right side of my screen? Um, that is how we actually hit that. So let's go ahead and drop all these items. Really, it's not going to let me um and then we'll go this do this one more time let's go ahead and set time of day to 2359 drop all my items play on simple bed now as long as we are nearby you'll see that the santa claus is going to spawn at 12 o'clock and then at 05 he is going to give us a new present now i don't know if because one santa is going across the sky if another one won't show up but we're about to find out nope it does cool all right, so you can see this time we got a Diplodocus. Now check this out. It's absolutely insane. Yes, it's only a level 57, right? However, the dinos that you're able to drop out of this are insane. Look at the stats on this thing, right? Okay, perfect. I got 56 points into stamina. So it's randomized, by the way. So even though it's level 57, you're going to get 56 points into a random stat. So you can get some insanely broken creatures using this method. 56 is like many generations of breeding or getting insanely lucky with a creature. 
It's absolutely bonkers. And it can happen. There, it's, it's totally random. You can get any creature in the entire game, by the way. This is something that's... Uh, it can be anything, like I said earlier, from a, from a Giga to a... Uh, like you just saw a Diplo. Anything. I've gotten a Pego before. It's just kind of bonkers that that's... I mean, it, it's really overpowered that you can do this, right? Now, I think it's awesome because I think it brings a little bit of a... You have to breed that in technically in order to actually use it. So that's going to be something that people are going to be able to take advantage of because those are, that are good at breeding are going to be able to essentially uh, get a hold of a ton of really good loot. Um, I'm just going to keep killing these so I can do one last one so I can show you one more time. But it's kind of nuts. Like 50 something. I mean, I, the highest I've seen 60. Um, but 60 points into an individual stat is crazy. Um, let's go ahead and drop everything here. And then let's go back up here. So we are on super nice again. And then we'll go ahead and set the time of day to 11.59 and we'll lay on our bed. All right, so just so you can see it, Raptor Claws has arrived at about 05. We're gonna get a, another gift and I'll just show you that it's completely random. I've gotten anything from weight points to food points to all kinds of stuff. Kind of broken, so we'll see if it works this time. And we'll see what we get out of it. But if you haven't figured it out yet, this is how you get absolutely broken. Okay, so Aranio. Yeah, it's a spider. We're never going to use it. But again, just to prove the point, right? This one is level 47. 47 spider with 46 points into weight. That's insane. So you can get lucky. Now, what you want to aim for are statistics and dinos and stuff like that that you obviously want. So you should be absolutely using the crap out of this trick. So... Yeah, definitely aim for melees, health, so those kinds of things. And then you can breed those into your breeding lines. Absolutely awesome. So even though it's only level 47, it's going to give you stats like there's no tomorrow once you get the breeding process going. So hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, teach. Uh -huh.